We need to take immediate and drastic action to cut emissions right now. The impacts of climate change are increasing and inevitable. And climate change. Out all of this with the global warming and that, a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, okay? People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. How dare you? This anger was... Every year, one-third of all food produced is thrown away resulting in 1.3 billion tons of waste worldwide. It's one of the largest climate and economic issues facing our planet, creating a massive business opportunity. Up to 30,000 tons of food is wasted every year, and this is just in Swedish schools. This leads to huge environmental impact and is very costly. Our innovation, Circle Eat, bridges the gap between consumers with limited financial resources and kitchens with great costs related to food waste using artificial intelligence, open data, and Internet of Things. Food surplus from kitchens in central Gothenburg is gathered by a food truck after lunch every day. In order to know where to collect food waste, smart IoTs are installed in all the kitchens to collect data regarding food surplus. After the food is gathered, it's being cooked during the afternoon and put together into healthy and nutritious meals. Recipes are taken from a collection of the most popular dishes online and by using AI, we can put together a suitable meal with the given information of what food waste is available from the different kitchens. The dishes are then cooked and packed. After lunch, when the data of available food is gathered from the different kitchens, the students will be able to pre-order today's meals. During the late afternoon and evening, until around 11 p.m., the food truck delivers the cooked food to areas with student homes. The food waste, which is not cooked, will be sold in bundles directly to the students for a very reasonable price. Information about the route is available through an app displaying the truck's exact position in real time while offering the pre-order function. When arriving at different student homes, students have already reserved their meal and the drop-off process will be simple, smooth and easy. Then it's your choice. Either eat it now or put it in the fridge for tomorrow's lunch. Well, this sounds nice. But is it at all financially sustainable? Of course it is. As of today, students that buy their food at school are paying a minimum of 45 Swedish crowns per lunch. But our solution could reduce that price to 25 Swedish crowns. And if we only sell 2,000 dishes a day, it would cover the cost of logistics, maintenance and staff and still be profitable. With over 50,000 hungry students just in Gothenburg, you do the math. In the even longer run, the desirable future is of course that this service will not be needed. But in order to get there, we have to start somewhere. Make an impact now.